So what I'm trying to say, we are sitting on a gold mine. I'm so, so happy. You've no idea. Now, I can retire in peace. I was looking for something I can leave as a legacy. So I don't have to be paid by a media house to put up a show so that I can gawanya kidogo kwa Jesse na tricky na wale wengine. Now we can create kings unto themselves. Now vijana wakumtane, mimi lipopeta kazi ya kuat. My mom maliniabia the first thing. Because the rest of my relatives, my engineers, daktari, aliniambia a very simple word in, in French. Mandawea. It's taken years. And now it got to a place where the future is. Now to know is Ambono Asania wana pesa. Why aren't we like Nigerians, South Africans, Tanzanians? Because of time. Time brings everything equal. Right now you're watching Netflix and Showmax and all these streaming channels. Because now you can finally access the content on your phone. It wasn't that easy. And now with the support of the government, we can ask for that support from out there. We can put up uh, studios. We can go Pale Mashinani. We, uh, we, we identify talent, uh, we nurture it, we market it, and that's how we're going to monetize it. So, story ado, because PESA, the way it used to work, Nasio Katel, a TV station, a media house, will uh, commission a program. And that program had to be funded or sponsored through an agency. So if an agency decides I want a PESA, I'm a television channel, feels your program is not worth it, then you won't see that television on air. Now things will change. If you can access the consumer with the support of the government, then soon or later we'll create billionaires. I really like to thank his Excellency the President William Sumoy Ruto and my very able CS Ababu Namwamba. We were not involved in politics because that's not our gift. Our God gift is God given. And that's why you see our artists have been undercharging themselves. Unaeza lipisha mtu technician, editor atakulipisha hivi, but how much do you charge a gift from God? So anasema ile ukonayo tu tusukume hakuna cha ile ukonayo now we are going to certify that we are going to make sure that some of these talents have certification that u jamaa kuna degree we credit the years you've taken in the industry we credit you so that you have value and i'm sure with the support of the technical committee that we have the sky is the limit I tried in my own way, as an individual, to access some offices and some grants. And they're willing, from Hollywood to China, they're willing to invest billions of shillings in this country. But the first thing they ask you, where is government involved in all this? Because governments don't deal with individuals. The government has to be involved. And in the former regimes, we could not have this conversation. A simple thing as walking to my good friend and my brother, Bilo Kipsang, a very able PS education, to try and explain why we need to tap these young talents in primary school. Because even accessing his office would have been impossible. And I kept on asking. So now, Sasa, we have to act. We have to do drama festival, we have to state house. Then what? Then what? Now, Sisi took a national theater. It's taken 15 years before you make it on television, before you make it on radio. And now, the emergence of digital space. I saw people talk about Aziad. Aziad is the future we are talking about. That our age, by just mere dancing, our input, the creativity, she can earn millions of shillings. And so is Ziv Mungai. And so, you see emergence of a media house like SPM Pass. 
It's just like any other channel. So what you'll do, and I hope with the help of our committee and of course a very able CS, we're going to come up with a formula where now finally <laughs> we can share our content across the world. But you are the biggest challenge, Mekua. It doesn't matter how talented you are. You have to be seen. You have to be seen. If you look at the spectrum of free-to-air channel, apart from the four main ones, Zile Zingine ni faith-based channels. And you ask yourself, so how did Pastor Ezekiel manage to fill 60,000 uh, people at Kasarad? It's very simple. He can dictate what to show every single day. So where do all these talents go? For example, comedy, if church's show is not on air. So you have to be at mercy of someone. But thank God for this government and for our president for giving him insight and the wisdom to see this multi-billion industry that no one saw it. And my prayer is that as I chair this committee, I'm going to involve all the stakeholders to share the visions that I have, that together your children are going to endeavor to become artists, be proud of it, and earn from it. All of you, if you check your phones, by the end of the day, you'll have content. Funny content. Include your newly mama kubigabija. Maina! Ni prisida! That's money. We're going to monetize every single content copyrighted so that the original owner of Kungulu Kangala can get that money as those Chinese try to sing that song, he can earn. Iyo mambo ya kuchanga, that one will end because we have to monetize content. Where we are heading, content will be key. And the only way we'll do that, we are moving from offline to online. Offline ni hizo free to air TV, ubembelezane, nini, nansi, sasa, offline to online. So that if you can access content on your phone, for instance, let me give you a simple mathematics. Celine, uh, Catherine here, who is now acting on Netflix, do you know that? Did you know that? She's part of a, did you know she's on Netflix? Yeah, and Netflix is doing well. Can you imagine, with the support of the government, that program, that Talanta Hela that we presented here, just to make it short for you, Mwelewe, money-wise, Ali Pesa in Aigilia, we create a Netflix ya Kenya. Hello? Netflix ya Kenya. We are now, for you to watch Kenyan shows, you pay partly 299 or 300 Kenya shillings. Now, do 300 Kenya shillings times 10 million Kenya shillings per month. How much is that? Is how much? No, do the maths. 300 shillings times that's 3 billion Kenya shillings per month. Here at Ujatoka, Kenya, Safaricom has over 30,000 sub million subscribers on, on, on their smartphones. So if this content is delivered and is produced for Africa, just take 100 million Ken uh, Africans consuming our content because our app will be a flagship in Africa, just like Empresa. So if you have 10 million subscribers in Africa, at 30 mi or 50 million subscribers paying 300 shillings, you only person happy. And the diaspora will pay different. So what I'm trying to say, we are sitting on a gold mine. I'm so, so happy. You've no idea. Now, I can retire in peace. I was looking for something I can leave as a legacy. So I don't have to be paid by a media house to put up a show so that I can gawanya kidogo kwa Jesse na tricky na wale wengine. Now we can create kings unto themselves. Now vijana wakumtane, mimi lipopata kazi ya kuart. My mom aliniambia the first thing because the rest of my relatives, my engineers, daktari, aliniambia a very simple word in, in French. Mandawea. Loosely translated, tafuta kazi. 
Siwezi kuwa naambia wa mama ati mtoto wangu anafanya Nairobi kazi ya kuchekesha watu. And it took many years to, for me to convince her until she started seeing a lot of changes in our home. And so I want to encourage the parents and everyone up in here and the media houses who have really supported us over the years, NTV, TV47, Citizen, thank you so much. And now what remains is moving forward together to make this uh, industry, because it's not entertainment, the creative economy, one to look forward to. And once again, I'd like to thank God for this opportunity. This is a real blessing to me, my life, and this industry. May God bless you, and I hope to work with each and every one of you. God bless you. Hold on there, church. Before we break this. All right, great. Uh, I guess we spoke a lot. Ukondani. Someone was asking, hey, kumbu unawagiaka kizungu? Kiwa kazini. You are shocked, eh? to kingia kazi na fanyika. So, uh, it's uh, very simple. I'm so happy. I really like to appreciate uh, His Excellency uh, present um, and of course our CS uh, for appointing me in this position. It's uh, not an easy task. We are starting from the, from the bottom, literally. It's a journey that has taken many, many years, but I'm sure with the committee that uh, have been presented, we are able and uh, ready for the task ahead and we'll need everybody's support that finally talanta itaweza kulipa and that's what we've been praying and trusting god for that finally we don't need to have uh, agencies uh, blocking that money that pesa zinaenda direct kwa msani kwa mfuko without passing some funny funny corners and being dictated by some uh, quarters and so this is a new beginning there's so much support from international support people wanted to support the creative economy but always you have you must work with the government and i'm glad that the government at hand has realized uh, that great potential that is uh, li limitless asante san Buzz, buzz, buzz.